I'm so tired. Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. It is a Saturday and our first crocus flower should be grown now. So we will finally be able to, well, we should finally be able to make and cast the storm incantation. a fruit harvest. Hey fishy, go fish. Hey Feedy, get to it. Okay, let's see about the glass production. Eight out of eighteen. I guess we'll have a 29 out of 40, so 11 more. Seeing as we get 4 a day, that should be 3 more days. So... Possibly, in three more days, we may get us a hay field. And then after that, we'll set our sights on the greenhouse. Alright, that's all we need to do here. Let's go make that storm incantation. There it is. And we need to use it... Mm. ...at the beach. Alright. Let's go do that. Well, actually, before we do... Hello, Layla. And Pancho. I'll need to buy some more chicken feed from Marty. Um, but... Beady, do you not have... You do. Well, why don't you go and feed Pancho? Come here. Hello, Cleocatra. I hope Feedy goes and feeds Pancho at some point during the day. Didn't you, kitty? Though I do think it'll take more than one day without food for the animals to get sick. But I still don't want Pancho to be without food. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Wow, 
collect. Ah, so we just get it from Perry. We don't actually need to find a hellebore flower. Well, all right. That'll make it much more simple. I thought we were actually going to have to find a hellebore flower somewhere. Sophia, hi. Any progress with the candles? Yes, here they are. Oh, they're perfect. Thanks so much, Tara. And just in time for the first night of Hanukkah. Have some latkes. <laughs> and here's the recipe if you want to make more. All you need are some potatoes and a good frying pan. Oh, but potatoes are spring season crops. Hmm. Well, there must be some way for you to grow out of season plants. A greenhouse, maybe? Island life does have its limitations, to be honest. I've been thinking about leaving. Marty offered to help introduce me to a real estate agent who could help me sell the diner. Oh no, you can't leave, Sophia. You're very kind, Tara. It means a lot. But seriously, Sophia, please, do stay. I just can't get Juliet excited about Hanukkah anymore. At least not the first few nights. But I still have some surprises in store. Uh, thanks for the recipe, and, uh, sorry about the storm. Hopefully it won't last for too long. Let's go get that essence. Hello, Shelby. Perry? Perry, do you have essence of Hellebore? <laughs> Upgrading the wand again, are we? I would caution you against venturing too deep into the gloaming, young mini-witch. I once knew a witch, well, in truth, he was a warlock. The most powerful one I had ever met. He was seduced by the wellspring's magic. He went mad with his desire for more power. Sometimes I wonder if he became one of those lost wraiths in the gloaming. It's a dangerous place. Never forget that. I won't. When Wesley first arrived here, he had me attempt many variations on a lycanthropy cure. None of them worked. Now he has stopped asking. Perhaps he has finally accepted the Fey part of himself. Well, that would be nice. But based on what I've heard from Zephyr, uh, I don't think he has accepted that. Not yet, at least. Also, this is my first time upgrading the wand. I'm excited for the winter feast. It reminds me of my family's winter gatherings. I wish I could go back for one, but... They go on all night. And eventually one of my great aunties would say... Doesn't Wesley look awfully hairy? <laughs> yeah. He, um, he doesn't sound like he has accepted the, uh, the part of himself. Alright, now we have everything. Let's go and see Zephyr. Zephyr, could you upgrade my wand for me? Oh, happy to. But, um, I do think you shouldn't venture too far into the gloaming. I know, I know. Harry already gave me a talking to about it. The wraiths you come upon may have tapped the wellspring's magic closer to the source, you see. They'll be harder to capture if they escape through the portal. I'll be careful, I promise. Here you go, Tara. Give it a wave. I want to make sure it's well balanced. <sighs> it's 
beautiful Zephyr. Your finest work yet. Ah, oh, uh, thanks. I, 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 I do what I can. <laughs> no. Oh, cool. Like storms that make the river sing. Fill my magic from the spring. I really miss my family this time of year. Do you ever visit them? Sometimes. I like seeing new places, but home is home. No. Okay. Well, I guess. Oh, let's go see if Natalia's shop is open. Hey, Tara. If it's no trouble, can I speak to you for a moment? Sure, what's up? I want to help Messenger Cameron prove that the League is a force for good in the community. I feel badly, you know, about Sophia. I still can't explain what happened. It's not just about weeding out the malcontents. We can help our neighbors in other ways. Anyway, Cameron wants to start a new charity initiative. A soup kettle. We'll be offering free soup to anyone in the community who wants it. That's a wonderful idea. I thought you'd like it. Of course, we're gonna need a really big pot. I'll take any copper you have to spare. Once I've got enough, I can hammer out the soup kettle. Well, guess what? Been in the mines lately? Yep, here's your copper. Wonderful. I'll get right to work and give this to Messenger Cameron tomorrow. Oh, if you have a moment to stop by the Consciousness Center, I know he'll want to thank you himself. Okay. I just go from work to the Consciousness Center or to Damon's Bar. It's too cold to do much else. Ah, we have enough to upgrade. Our pickaxe or axe, but I think we want to get the mining whirly gig first. There we go. So we have a total of fifteen. I'm pretty sure we need ten more of the gold ingots. And, um, oh, right. We need to, um, go buy some more crocus seeds. Let's see if Violet shop is open. Last year, I really upped my winter feast game. I made crawfish pie from my auntie's recipe, and Tara, it was amazing. But this year, I'll be lucky if I have time to make anything. No. One of these. All right, let's go and sew that and then I guess we have a little bit of time to spend in the mine before the coven meeting. We do want to attend the coven meeting tonight because I think there will now be something new there now that we have the Upgraded wand. Let's go and see if we can find some gold ore and sand. it out so promisingly. Now we're just getting copper. Well, at least there's sand here.
Nice. And it's not like we're in a like a great hurry to get the mining whirly gig. It would just be nice. We'll need uh, 20 more gold ore altogether. Let's go see what's new at the coven meeting. Never seen a winter like this on the island before. Mm, neither have I. I worry that we are too few in number to turn it on our own. We've lost so many in recent years. Violet's mother, then Giacomo Moretti, and now Hazel. There's help out there, if we're ready to seek it. I think I know your meaning, but we've never had to call a witch to the circle before her powers came in. Wait, we can call a new witch to join us? Like, on the phone? No, with an incantation. Perhaps Wesley will have the one we need among his scrolls. Okay, we'll do that tomorrow. I had a chat with Ariel about what the fairy folk actually want for offerings. These days, even they have modern taste. I'm cheered by all the fennel you've grown. Me too. Perry says it's the best thing for keeping the wraiths away. That's all well and good, but I'm talking about soup. Fennel bulbs make a mean broth. Zephyr finished the improvements on my wand. Hi, Priestess. I'm glad to hear it. We will need you to be at your full power to face what is to come. The Farseer's advice may seem unclear, but if you really listen, everything he says makes sense in the end. No, we'd already heard that before. It took me ages to get this far in the coven. But don't give up. You'll get the hang of it. And that too. Let's go and water our flowers. And once we've done that, we'll go back into the mine. See if we can find some more gold ore and sand. I guess if I remember to keep on the glass production and uh, check on it a couple of times a day, I guess then we'll have the glass that we need for the greenhouse pretty much immediately um, after we've um, got the hay field made that'll be cool ooh a nice bit of sand sure we'll soon have the 20 gold ore that we need to make twin to make 10 more gold ingots and then it'll be time to go get the mining whirly kig and um well after that we will no longer have to worry about jewels or or will it also bring us sand although by that time i guess 
we will have got enough sand to make all the glass we need for the greenhouse. I guess we'll see what exactly the mining whirly gig brings us once we get it and put it into action. Let's go home and I think we have time to pop by the shed and um, do the glass thing before we go to bed. Alright, let's also check on the essences. Oh yeah, we didn't have anything in the making. We'll save the gold for the ingots. Hmm. Let's make some copper essence. We need that for quite a few things. And let's end the episode here. Tomorrow we'll go talk to Wesley about the incantation to call a new witch. And we'll see what else we'll get up to. For now though, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like, and if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.